Today, I'm gonna to speak about a concept that absolutely changed my life in the course of a week. And hopefully by watching this video, it'll change your life as well. Today, I'm gonna to be speaking about something that is so important, has become such a crucial part of my existence, my practice in the past year. So just to give you a little bit of context, about a year ago, I went through a really tough patch in my relationship, in my life, and just everything kind of came crumbling down. I might speak about that in a different video, but that's not the point of this one for right now. My life was in kind of a really bad state. That's why I stopped posting to YouTube. That's why I stopped really doing anything. I just really needed that time to, to collapse, to break down, and to really focus on myself and focus inwards and figure out what was going on with me and my life and just everything happening. So because everything else around me was kind of crumbling down to the ground, I was willing to do whatever it took to make myself feel better. And at first I did the things that were easy that I knew would make me feel better. Things like eating sugar, playing video games, watching TV, all the easy things that we tend to do that most of the time we know is bad for us, but for some reason we still continue to do those things. Because in the moment it made me feel good and that's just what I did. Until I got to a point where I just couldn't do anything anymore. I was very depressed. I was anxious about the future. I didn't know what was going into my life. So I knew that I needed to make some dramatic changes to what was going on. So I decided to do something that I guess is pretty radical in a sense. I didn't know this concept at the time. I hadn't even discovered this part of self-help YouTube, whatever you want to call it. But I now know after doing this and discovering it myself, the practice is called dopamine detoxing. So I called it dopamine transmutation, which is basically turning low grade, low quality dopamine hits into high grade, high quality dopamine hits. Just a quick explainer, if you have no idea what dopamine is, dopamine is a neurotransmitter in your brain. Just to preface, I have no scientific background or qualification. I'm just basing my thoughts and research on the scientists of others out there in the world. So feel free to do your own research. But basically, dopamine is responsible for allowing you to feel pleasure, satisfaction, and motivation. When you feel good that you have achieved something, it's because of a huge surge of dopamine to the brain. Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter. Your body makes it and your nervous system uses it to send messages between nerve cells. That's why it's sometimes called a chemical messenger. Dopamine plays a role in how we feel pleasure. It's a big part of our unique human ability to think and plan. It helps us strive, focus, and find things interesting. Your body spreads it along four major pathways in the brain. But like most other systems in your body, you don't really notice it until there's a problem. And too much or too little dopamine can lead to some serious health issues. Okay, so now that we have a general understanding of what dopamine is, we can get into the rest of the video. There's also a whole bunch of other neurotransmitters and hormones and chemicals in our brains and our bodies that affect this whole process, but dopamine is the king that affects all of this. So the first thing I did was separate all of the low grade dopamine onto one side and all of the high grade dopamine onto the other side. And the whole goal of this process was to transmute. Transmute is another word for transform basically but transmute the low grade dopamine into the high grade dopamine. So low grade dopamine is low quality, it's being overstimulated, it's cheap dopamine, which means that it's super easy to get. It's like buying a lotto ticket in the lotto of life. <laughs> it's addictive in a very negative way and very often is mostly just a short term gain. It's things like drugs, shitty TV shows, social media, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, pornography, low quality news, masturbation, junk food, destructive partying, alcohol, gambling, online shopping, impulsive buying, and sugar. It's just things that leave you feeling completely empty inside. And you know that it's bad for you, but for some reason we keep doing it. And that's because our brains are getting that dopamine hit that tells us to keep doing it. These are things that make you feel good in the moment, but in the long run make you feel really bad about yourself. And then it's just an endless cycle repeating that. One crazy realization that I had through this, this is what most of society engages in. And we've been manipulated into thinking that this is okay because people 
are making a shitload of money off of these things. If you turn on any TV channel, what are all the ads about? They're about alcohol, they're about gambling, they're about sugar, they're about fast food, they're about online shopping, all of the low grade dopamine hits. Because it's quick and easy, makes us feel good in the moment. We'll spend our money, forget about it, and have to do that process all over again. If you wanna get into a more spiritual side of this as well, this is what I believe people are talking about when they speak about different vibrations and having a low vibration and a high vibration. All of these dopamine hits are low vibration and you wanna transmute that into high vibration dopamine hits. Bear with me because I will tell you the process of how to do that and how to actually get to the high dopamine hits. So the high vibration dopamine is high quality stimulation. It is expensive dopamine. It needs to be practiced in order to attain. It's not something that's super easy to get. You've gotta have self-discipline, it's a smart investment instead of buying a lot of tickets. It's addictive in a positive way. This will be things like exercise, long-term wealth building, thought-provoking films, reading, creativity, journaling, art, meditation, exercise, education, ideation, thinking, questioning, living in the now, experiencing life, cooking good food, having good conversations, a good social life, a good love life. You'll have more focus, these things will be more fulfilling to you. You'll have more time to yourself and it'll give you the cycle of making you feel good about yourself and then that cycle will just continue to roll on. So do you see what I'm getting at here? It's like we knew all these things already, but when you put it like this in this table format, it just makes so much sense as to why we keep doing the things on the left and we just ignore and put off the things on the right because they're difficult. It's not easy to do these things. We need self-discipline, but the more and more we practice this, the easier it becomes. And this is how we get there. The thing that we need to transmute low-grade dopamine into high-grade dopamine is boredom. Let me explain. We need boredom to force us into doing things. But the problem is people don't get bored anymore because we can get stuck and sucked into scrolling on our phones, watching screens for hours and hours, looking at endless crap that doesn't mean anything to our lives or make our lives better in any way. So we sit there wondering why we're stuck in the same shitty jobs, the same shitty life, the same shitty relationships. And modern media just makes all of this so much worse because none of it is real life. None of it is honesty it's everyone putting on this fake image of their perfect life so we're constantly comparing ourselves to that life while we're sitting on the couch doing nothing so we just feel even more bad about ourselves you see the cycle here as well it's a vicious cycle until we can break free of it and I'm not saying it's easy by any means and we've been conditioned into thinking that this is okay that you go to work from 9 to 5 and then you come home and you sit on the couch for five hours and you look at TikTok for four hours that's okay that's normal that's what everyone does right but if you're trying to better yourself and your life. You can't be like everyone. You can't do those things that are being destructive to your life and getting you nowhere. We've been conditioned to thinking that this is normal. This is okay. This is how humans should live now, right? It's so unnatural. It's ridiculous. I believe we have evolved too quickly for our biology. That the systems we live in, the technology we use, doesn't fit where our biology is. And that's what's causing all of the problems in our world, all of the mental health issues, all of the societal issues. It's because we're not living how we're supposed to live. I guarantee that some of the most successful people in the world have practiced or continue to practice some form of dopamine detox. And that's where their genius comes from because they give themselves time to listen to themselves, time to think, time to learn, time to grow, and they're not distracted by their phones, their screens, and other people's stories. They are the hero of their own stories. When you're watching somebody else's story, you're sitting on the couch doing nothing. If you look at your life from an outside perspective, pretend that you're in a movie. Would the main character just be sitting on the couch doing nothing? Probably not. And if he is, he might be in the part of the movie where he's gotta be doing that and figuring this out. And that's why you're watching this video right now. So you can get up off the couch, be the main character of your own movie and step into that hero's role and move forward as a strong character. But that's where their genius comes from. And then they're on track to greatness with such force and confidence that now they don't even have time for that low grade dopamine. And so the high grade cycle continues and the rich get richer. And also get rich in being a better person, becoming more aware, more conscious, but also the rich get richer because they're able to make more money, spend time in their businesses, be more conscious of themselves and their life goals so that they can make money and not waste it away spending money making other people rich. So yeah, really all it takes is just some boredom 
Put yourselves in situations where you're gonna do nothing. Sit down and give yourself time to think. Give yourself time to listen to yourself. If you're feeling tired, then go sleep. Go take a nap. Don't sit and scroll through TikTok for four hours. That's not giving your brain a chance to rest and it's programming your brain to believe things that aren't true either. So if you're feeling tired, rest. And if you're not feeling tired, use that time productively. And if you don't know what to do, sit down and figure out what you need to do and do those things. It, all it takes is getting off screens. It's really not that difficult. I urge you to delete Instagram, delete TikTok, even get off YouTube for at least a week. I did this for a week at first and it was revolutionary for me. I would get really bored, honestly. There were times where I would sit and lay on the floor for half an hour, not knowing what to do. But then all of a sudden, I would have the spark of inspiration and I would create something out of nothing. And I had the time, I had the energy, I had the space to create that, and it was an amazing feeling. And even if you are procrastinating in the state of boredom, your procrastination will even be constructive. <laughs> I did laundry, I folded all my clothes, I did the dishes, I cleaned the bathroom, I did all these things that I wouldn't have done if I was playing video games or scrolling through social media. I then also started to become a lot more aware of my own needs, my own body. I started to get really bored and miss people. So I went out and was more social, spent more time in real life making real connections. That's another problem, and I use this as a big excuse being an introvert, is that when we're watching stories on TV and social media, we're still engaging with other people, but we're not building any social skills. We're not really putting ourselves out there to be in those situations, to learn and grow and create those real connections. We're creating connections that is a one-way connection. And therefore we're getting the human interaction. Our brains think we're getting that human interaction when in fact we're sitting at home all alone, just getting more and more lonely and more and more depressed. So disconnect from all of that. Take a big deep breath and slow down and you'll realize how much time you actually have in the day. It's crazy when you put your phone away and you do nothing, you realize how slowly time actually moves and then you have all the time in the world. I urge you to meditate. Meditation also doesn't have to be something that's super hippie and up there and weird. Meditation is literally just sitting down or laying down and listening to yourself. You don't even have to try and stop thinking. Just listen to the thoughts that you're having. It's so much simpler than the perception that the West has made it out to be. So this was the thing that dramatically changed my life. And during this week, I had probably the biggest chunk of my spiritual awakening that I've ever had. I even got this tattoo to commemorate it. So I hope that this video has helped you and I hope that this can change your life like it changed mine. Whew. Okay, so that was my big rant on the dopamine disconnect. Um, that was a fun one to make. I've been wanting to make that for such a long time, but like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been going through some crazy shit and finally coming out the other side and figuring my life out, hence why I'm getting back on YouTube, getting back to work and yeah, feeling really good about myself, really good about life and I hope that energy is coming through. Thank you so much for watching this. If you made it all the way through, I really appreciate you and all your love. If you like this video, check out this video as well. I think you'll like that too. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.